Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are well by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIEBS home school this is Fatima Sabrin Shikha assistant teacher of national ideal English version school morning Shift. today I am going to take Bangladesh and global studies class for the students of class 3 on the topic of chapter 10 broad question 1 2 students I am repeating the topic again our topic is chapter 10 broad question 1 2 this is our 12th lecture and 11th SW I'm repeating this is our 12th lecture and 11th SW students take your Bangladesh and global studies book notebook and writing elements first we'll discuss about these two broad questions and after that you have to pick the answers in your SW copy okay let's start our first broad question is what can we learn from Bongo Bundu's life I'm repeating what can we learn from Bongo Bundu's life okay students we have learned the summary of chapter 10 from our textbook and from this chapter we come to learn that Bangabundu worked a lot for our country and we have learned many from his life now you have to write on his life and work answer is we can learn following things from the life of Bangabundu number one we can learn about patriotism I'm repeating we can learn about patriotism students do you know what is patriotism okay I'm explaining patriotism is when someone loves his country someone respects his country it is called patriotism so from Bangabundu's life we can learn about patriotism we can learn how to love our country how to work for our country number two we also know how to build a nation Bangabundu's life we can know that how to build a nation number three we can learn the qualities of a good leader students this is not clear I'm writing again leader L E A D E R leader we can learn the qualities of a good leader as we know Bangabundu was a good leader he led the country so from his life we can learn we can know the qualities of a good leader number four we learn to work for the welfare people and for the development of the country we know that Bangabundu worked a lot for people and he worked a lot for the development of our country. So, as we have learned about his work and life, we must have to know how we can help the people and how we can develop our country. So, students, from Bangabundu's life, we can learn all this. And this is for the answer of broad question one now we'll learn broad question two the question is why is Bangabundu still respected as the father of our nation I'm repeating the question why is Bangabundu still respected as the father of our nation okay students we know that Bangabundu is called the father of our nation because he did a lot for the country he sacrifices a lot he struggled much for the development of our country so now you have to explain why we call respectively him the father of our country so let's learn the answer the answer is Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman is called the father of our nation. On 7th March 1971, at the Rescourse Maidan in Dhaka, Bangabundu called for independence. 
Bangabandhu declared independence in the early hours of 26th March. The whole nation followed Bangabandhu's call to war. Bangladesh became independent under the leadership of Bangabandhu. This is why he is called the father of the nation. Students, I am repeating the answer again. Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman is called the father of our nation. On 7th March 1971, at the Whiskers Maidan in Dhaka, Bangabandhu called for independence. Bangabandhu declared independence in the early hours of 26th March. The whole nation followed Bangabandhu's call to war. Bangladesh became independent under the leadership of Bangabandhu. This is why he is called the father of the nation. Students, I hope you understood this topic and now I am going to give your homework. Your homework will be broad question 1. The question is, what can we learn from Bangabandhu's life? This question will be your homework. And students, don't forget to write the lecture number and homework number with the submission date at the top of the corner of your copy. I'm repeating, don't forget to write the lecture number and homework number with the submission date at the top of the corner of your copy. Our lecture number is 12 and homework number is 11. Students, do your homework in your SW copy. Guardians or anyone else can submit your SW copies on every Sunday and can collect your previous copies on next Sunday. You need to be serious because you will get your CT, diary and SP marks on the basis of the submission of your SW copies. That's all for today. Hope you have understood today's topic. Keep practicing at home and abide by your parents. Stay well and see you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.